Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply Huffman coding for efficient image compression. Huffman coding builds binary tree known as a Huffman tree based on the symbol probabilities. The primary goal of Huffman coding is to assign shorter codes to more frequent symbol which reduces the average number of bits required. So, in the Huffman coding, we will determine the Huffman tree average code length, entropy and efficiency of the Huffman coding. To understand the Huffman coding, we use the word committee. In this, we have nine symbols. For each symbol, we need to find the probability. To find the probability, we use the following formula that is probability of a symbol which is equal to total number of occurrence of the symbol in a message divided by total number of symbol in a message. Here we can see that in the given word C is appearing only once so that the probability of a symbol C which is equal to 1 divided by 9. Similarly for the symbol O that is O is appearing only once in this word so that the probability of the symbol O which is equal to 1 divided by 9. Similarly for the symbol M, M is appearing two times in the given word so that the probability of the symbol M which is equal to 2 divided by 9. Similarly, we will find the probability of the remaining symbols. So, once you find the probability of the E symbols, next we need to assign these probabilities in a descending order. That is what we have done here. So, once you arrange the probabilities in the descending order, next we need to construct the Huffman tree. To construct, the, to construct a Huffman tree, we use the probability of each symbol which are arranged in a descending order. In this, we pick the two symbols which is having the lowest probability. In this set, we have the lowest probability as 1 by 9 and 1 by 9. We will take these two probability that is two symbol O and I. So, we will combine these two probabilities and we will get the new node probability. The new node probability is nothing but a sum of these two probabilities. So, that will become 2 divided by 9. Here one more thing is that we will assign binary digit to each symbols. For the upper probability we will assign 0 and for the lower probability we will assign 1. So, once you find the new probability by adding the two lowest probability we will get the new set that is also in the descending order. And for this one again we will take the two probabilities which is having the lowest probability. Here lowest probability is 2 by 9 and 1 by 9. So, we will combine these two probabilities and we will get the new probability. And for this one uh, that is to 2 divided by 9 we will assign the binary digit as 0 and for 1 by 9 we will assign the digit as 1. So, we will get the sum of these two probabilities as 3 divided by 9 which is the largest probability. So, it will come at a top. So, and for this set again we need to take the two probabilities which is having the lowest probability that is 2 by 9 and 2 by 9 and uh, for this we will assign 0 and 1 as a binary digit and we will get the sum of these two probabilities as 4 divided by 9 which is the largest probability in this set. So, it will come at a top. Again, we need to find the probability of uh, uh, two lowest uh, probabilities that is 3 by 9 and 2 by 9 we will get the probability as 5 by 9 and again adding these two probabilities we will get the final root as 1. Once you construct the Huffman tree next we need to find the code word from the Huffman tree. To find the code word we need to refer the Huffman tree. So, to find the code word for M here we can see that we need to came from root node to leave that is from 0 and to 1 we will reach symbol m. It means that for a m code word is 0 1 that is what we are written here and for t it will become 1 0. How it will become 1 0? Here we can see that from 1 we will reach to 0 then it will reach to 1. It means that the code word for the T will become 1, 0. And for the code word for E will become from 1, we will reach to 1, then it will become 
to E. So, that a code word for E will become 1 1. So, similarly, we will find the code word for the remaining symbols. So, that will become like this. So, once you find the code word, next we need to find the word length. Word length is nothing but how many bits present in the code word. You can see that for the symbol where M, we have 2 bits so that the word length will become 2. And for the symbol T, code word is 10 that is uh, having a 2 bits so that a word length will become 2. And uh, similarly, we will find the word length for the remaining symbols. So, once you find the word length from the Huffman tree, next we need to determine the average length. To find the average length, we use the following formula that is average length which is equal to summation of P k L k for all k belongs to 0 to n minus 1. n is nothing but the number of symbols in the word. So, here a P k is a uh, probability of occurrence of the symbols, LK is a length of each symbols and uh, uh, L dash is nothing but a average length. So, we know the probability of E symbols and the length of E symbols. So, once you put all those values in these equations, we will get the average length as 2.5553 bits per symbol. So, once you find the average length, uh, next we need to find the entropy. To find the entropy use the following formula that is h of s which is equal to minus summation of p k log of p k to the base 2 for uh, all k belongs to 0 to n minus 1. To convert this log 2 to log 10 we will divide whole equation by uh, point, uh, 0 0.3010. So, entropy of s which is equal to minus 1 divided point. Uh, point 0.3010 summation of p k log of p k to the base 10 for all k belongs to 0 to n minus 1. So, here we know the all, uh, so here we know the value of p k for all the symbols. So, we will put those values here we will get the entropy as uh, 2.5034 bits per symbol. So, once you find the entropy next we need to find the efficiency. To find the efficiency, we use the following formula that is efficiency which is equal to uh, H of S divided by L dash. Uh, H of S is nothing but the entropy and L dash is the average length. So, once you put those values in this equation, we will get the efficiency as 0 0.9797 which is equal to 97.97 percentage. This is how we can find the Huffman tree, average code length, entropy and efficiency. I hope the concept of Huffman coding is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.